Hello and welcome back to my third video on using the autopilot. Um, as you can see, uh, I've progressed the flight by about 10 or 15 minutes, um, and I'm now still got Echo Golf, Echo Charlie, Cableton Airport uh, in the GPS. The distance now is 129 miles, and it's really about from this altitude, it's about time to start thinking about descending. You'll notice that the arrow is slowly turning round to the right because I've set the the bug to the left of the arrow. As it flies up, it will slowly go round to the right uh, as the airport goes down your right hand side. And it's almost lined up with runway heading. As you can see the arrow's only got a couple of you moving very slightly now. Um, so <coughs> just to show you how to do the descent. First of all, ch change um, Mach back to indicated airspeed. You see that it, whatever the Mach number was at at that altitude, it will correspond to the same airspeed. Generally reduced to about 260 knots or thereabouts. Uh, you won't maybe make that on the descent. And then basically uh, set the altitude for maybe 3,000 feet. I'm hoping to get continuous descent with uh, about 1,800 feet a minute. Um, and about two, 250 knots. The, the airspeed heading is a bit hypothetical at this point because we'll, we no flat, flaps on or, or anything like that. You're not really going to um, reduce speed so very much. But anyway, so that's a starting my descend into Campbellton Airport. Um, distance is 122 nautical miles and as you can see the arrow is just slowly, slowly, slowly coming round and it's going to um, it'll end up lining up. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to make this, put this simulator on a times two speed just to make that happen that wee bit quicker so it's options um, sim stimulate simulator rate and I'll put uh, times two now you see everything's zooming away qu twice the speed um, my distance is 120 the arrows uh, is going to be coming in the middle what you're aiming for is to be on runway heading using the radio or the beam that goes out from the airport on runway heading. So we're almost there now. Um, just as we as we descend down towards it, I'll, I can start turning turning in towards it a little bit because as long as I'm to the le the left of it, it'll still do. So I'm going to change my heading now from six zero six zero to zero nine zero. There's a bug's going round, and you can see the the plane spinning round. When it gets right in the middle, you've got two choices. You can either just swing the heading bug round till it lines up with it and it'll fly down it, or you can put on the, the nav switch, which, which I'm supposed to be showing you how it works. I don't actually like the nav because it's, it's, it's quite slow, um, so I, I, I prefer just to use the bug, but I'll, I'll put the nav on anyway. So we're on GPS for the, for the nav setting. I'm going to press nav and the plane will come in. Now you can see it's right in the middle now, so if the, the nav brings you around to runway heading, you should follow that heading right down and you'll be right on the runway. And I'm just going to show you on the map quickly, um, world map. Ah, okay, cancel. Do it again. I'll have to re-enter re it. I'm going to re-enter that waypoint just to show you. Uh, um, when you're using waypoints, keep re-entering them, and it'll and it'll update what the where, where the waypoint is and what the heading is and so forth. So I've just re reactivated it again, world, and I'm just going to look at the map. Now, on the map, you get a, a purple line to show you the direction of your waypoint. I'm just going to show you how that would look on the airport. Now, as you can see there, setting up like that, you're going to end up right on the runway and it's going to be at almost the right angle. So it's a very good way of getting onto a runway very accurately. I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to put it back on when I'm at 10 miles. 10 miles, 3,000 feet, lined up with the runway, speed 150 knots, and then do a landing and show you just how to um, how to, to put the autopilot off and the order to do it in.
Hello again and welcome back. Um, I haven't done anything since I uh, last spoke to you. I've let the plane fly its own way down the navigation, as you can see, still on nav, still heading for the runway, and I'm now at 10 miles, so I'm just going to reduce uh, altitude to about 1,000 feet. At this level, I'm just putting the vertical speed to 1,000, and I'm basically, as you can see, the setting the autopilot is virtually going to fly the plane right down the runway. The runway's right in the middle and it's heading off in the right direction. So I'm just going to keep go through how to use the autopilot just to make a good landing. So I'm reducing speed now to 150 knots. Um, I'm putting my flaps pretty much full on just now. These lights here are called Vasi lights. If you see two whites and two reds it means you're more or less light. You're at the right altitude. Um, all red means you're too low and all white means you're too high. This looks pretty good at the moment. As I say, I'm still in nav. I haven't actually done anything apart from adjust the speed. So I'm at 146 uh, knots. Just check my speed. Yeah, I'm down about that anyway. Um, four miles. Gear down. G, gear down. Um, oh, I'm starting to get a bit high, so I'll just put the um, thing back on. Down a bit to 700 feet. I'll put that to 600. A thousand, I'll maybe put that up a wee bit because I'm still a bit high. My, you're doing a lot of things at once here. My um, speed looks a bit right. Now, I'm going to be lined up. I'm going to actually take that off. Okay, I'm off nav, off that. I'm flying the plane now, so I'm just going to lift it up slightly. Um, drop the speed. And at the last minute... Oh, 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 oh. Wasn't the greatest land in the world. F2 for f for um, F2 for reverse thrust and hash for and that's a landing. And as you can see, I hardly had to touch the plane. The GPS done it all. I think that's my time just about up. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.